happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm super excited about today's video um beatles was kind enough to reach out to me and wanted me to review some of their products and you all know that beatles is bae for me i have been using beatles products since i got into doing my nails almost a year ago i have over 20 of their collections with their gel polishes i have their poly gels i have their dip powders i have it all um and i've reviewed this company numerous times on my channel so i was super thrilled and beyond excited to review even more of their products when they reached out to me y'all I was screaming up and down and I was hooping and hollering okay so without further ado they asked me to pick um, some of their new releases from their website I originally wanted to review their uh, gel liners but they were all sold out and so I opted for reviewing their builder gel kit I don't have any of their builder gels in my already extensive Beatles collection so I'm super excited to be working with them I'm gonna pop this open and let's see what's included in this kit okay I'm in love with the Beatles packaging they actually changed it since I first started using Beatles. They used to have like a really nice black and kind of floral packaging and then they've kind of updated it to this like sleek color blocking which I think is still really cute. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pop this open. Ooh. Okay, so one of the things I really like about their packaging, oh, they're not, oh, here it is. Okay, on every one of their packages, they have, hey, they're gorgeous. So I love that they have that little saying. Um, and so inside here, we get some tweezers. Um, it comes with the Beater Gel application guide. So I'll just kind of let you guys look over that really quick. Okay, and that just talks about how to use the product. All right. Next, we have a little bit of nail art. So we get these um, silver hollow. Let me open it up for you guys. This kit is nice. So you get here some beautiful silver hollow butterflies. This really beautiful rose gold hollow glitter. This is stunning. I love the blue shift to that. Well, it's a blue, green, purple, pink shift. That's really pretty. Also get some really pretty, different um, size, chunky uh, silver hollow glitters as well. So you get some nice like nail art. You also get some, ooh, bling. Um, you also get some nail forms, which you know, you can never have enough of those. You get some bling, y'all know me. I'm always here for a little bit of bling activity. okay? So we got some bling here. I'm gonna try to put these to use in the look today. You get a dual-ended nail art brush with a dotting tool on one end and the brush on the other. You also get a Beatles file, which is nice. 100, 180 grid file. And then we get all of these lovely builder gels, okay? We got one, two, three, four, five, six builder gels. That is awesome. So the D001, let's see what color this is. This is clear. And the builder gel is a nice, thick viscosity, like, this stuff is really thick. As you all can see, it's not going anywhere. It's nice. Yeah, that's a really nice consistency for a builder gel. So we have clear that comes in the collection. D002 is, ooh, you get a pretty milky white color. Ooh, I love me a good milky white, y'all. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's pretty. D003. Wow, that's pretty too. It's a nice, pretty jelly pink color. I like that a lot. That's really nice. Okay. D004. Wow, that's a really nice kind of um, light pink color. Almost kind of peachy pink. That's really pretty. D005. Oh no, this is peach right here. This is the nice peachy color. That's pretty. Almost like an apricot color almost. These are some really nice builder gels, you guys. D006, ah oh, yes. So it's like a nice beige kind of nude color here. Yeah, these are really nice thick builder gels. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these. I'm gonna swatch these on top of the swatch stick. I just wanna see how they perform being built up. So this is the D001. And it's just a clear builder gel. Curious to see about how it might build up. So I'm gonna take a little bit more on the brush here and just see about trying to build it a little bit. Uh, 
God, that's beautiful. Okay, happy people. So as I am swatching the Builder Gels, I just wanted to give you all my thoughts on it. These Builder Gels are amazing. They are super easy to work with. And even though they're thick, they're very smooth and creamy. And as you can see, I had no issues with actually building up the nail with the Builder Gel straight from the tube. I was able to use the brush that came with the bottle to actually move the product left to right to build up the nail, which I absolutely love, meaning that you really don't even need an extra brush in order to build that nail up. And they also self-level beautifully. I had a very easy time working with these Builder Gels. One of the things I love about Beatles products in general is that they're super high quality and a very affordable price. You get a really good bang for your buck. So y'all, th this is how much my Beatles products are used and abused. I was just getting ready to go in with my top coat. This mug is a little raggedy, but but um, I look, my, my my brush is dry. I ain't got no more product left in here of my top coat. <laughs> this is definitely by far one of my favorite top coats that I use. One of my favorite base and top coats. You all will see linked in the description box of every single one of my videos. It is the Beatles base and top coat. This is like my favorite. So I guess it's time for me to open a new top coat, y'all. Look, I be trying to use all of my product up, okay? Oh, okay, I got a little bit on there. I don't know, we'll see what we can do, but it's about time for a new top coat, so I'll go ahead and bust out the new one, okay? So this is what all the colors look like swatched out. I am really liking how these Builder Gels look and perform. I wanna give you all a close up. This is the D001, and do y'all see how clear this clear is? Like, it's crystal clear. I'm very impressed with this clear right here. I mean, you can see right through it. There is no yellowing to the color whatsoever like very happy with how clear this clear is you don't see that every day from like a clear builder gel or even just a clear polish or clear top coat i mean that's i'm impressed with this clear yeah very very impressed so that's the d001 next we have the d002 and it's this beautiful milky white color very nice and opaque for a nice milky white. Really liking this color a lot. Next we have the D003, which is this really pretty translucent pink color. It's a jelly pink, which I really like. Um, I feel like it'd be a nice fun color just to do like some jelly nails with, but I love like the transparency of it. Like, it's really nice, I like it. Next we have the D004, okay. And it's this really beautiful light pink like a baby pink color loving this color too it's nice and opaque you all saw how I was very easily able to build up this nail like it's very happy with how these Builder Joes are performing and how they look and the color selection like this is like a really nice kit D005 and it's like this beautiful kind of peat kind of peachy nude color nice light brown peachy undertone just i'm loving it y'all absolutely loving it beetles they never disappoint let me tell you that d006 and this is a really gorgeous kind of light beige tan color just absolutely loving this one this is probably one of my favorites from the honestly i like them all to be quite frank with you i mean beetles they didn't did it again i mean they always knock my socks off i love beetles products but yeah this is just a really beautiful nice kind of almost toffee color and i think this is actually the one that i'm going to be using on my set today so yeah y'all overall very impressed very happy thus far with these builder gels and the kit um so i am going to go ahead and take off these nails if you all are curious about how i got this look i will leave a full tutorial to this set link down in the description box below okay happy people i am back and i've decided what design i want to do so i am going to be going in with this beautiful d006 color on my nails i have already applied my moran peel off base coat y'all know this is my favorite peel off base coat next i'm going to go in with my favorite stiletto tips from amazon y'all know i've been loving these tips lately when i do my sets i'm also going to be using my gooseneck rechargeable led lamp um, i am going to leave all the products that i'm using linked down in the description box below i decided i'm going to go ahead and apply my tips using a d001 which is like a clear builder gel to apply the tip you'll want to just take a little bit of the builder gel on the inside of the tip like so just enough to feel the inside of it you'll turn your light on and then you'll just place the tip where you want it to be on your nail like so and then you just go under the light and cure it in place and that's what it looks like after it's been cured. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that process on all of the nails. Again, you just take the tip and apply just a little bit of the Builder Gel to the inside of the nail. Turn your lamp on, place the tip where you want it to be, and then cure underneath the lamp.
Okay, so all of my tips have been applied with the clear builder gel. I'm gonna go in with an another layer of the clear builder gel all over the nails, and that's just gonna be to kind of blend in where the nail tip meets the natural nail, just to build and give it just a little bit more structure on that nail bed. And I'm honestly just gonna brush it on like I would regular gel polish. So I'm gonna go through and do that to all of the nails. Yeah, I really like the consistency of this builder gel. It is very, very nice and very easy to work with. Like, yeah, this is amazing. This is what the nails look like after they've been cured for 60 seconds. There was a slight heat spike with the builder gel, but nothing that was like too unbearable and nothing where I had to like pull my hand out of the lamp. I'm gonna go in now with the D006 color here and that was that really beautiful tan kind of beige color. And I'm gonna apply that to all of the nails. What I first wanna do is go in with the slip layer on my index finger. So I am gonna go ahead and just apply it to the whole nail itself first. And that's going to be considered the slip layer for the builder gel application. Okay. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and try to build the structure of the nail. So when I'm taking it out the bottle, I'm not going to take too much product off the brush. I'm just going to kind of let that the builder gel naturally break away from what's coming out of the bottle. This drop is what I'm going to use to build the nail out. So I'm going to first place it down. Okay. On the nail. Get my brush behind it and float the product back and forth down the length of the nail. Okay, like so. And if I feel like I don't have enough product to keep floating down, I'll dip back into the bottle and continue and make contact again and then continue floating back down the length of the nail. Okay, that looks really good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and flip over. I'm gonna flip over for about 10, 15 seconds just to allow for the structure of the nail to kind of make its way. And I'm gonna help guide it just a little bit, like so. Flip back over. And then I'm gonna let it just kind of level out a little bit. And then this looks perfect to me. I'm gonna go ahead and cure. Yeah, that turned out beautiful. Look at that, you guys. This builder gel is amazing, wow. I, that's on my first try. This is my first time building my nails out with builder gel in the bottle. And yeah, this turned out amazing. Okay, I'm here for that. So I'm gonna repeat that process for the rest of the nails here. Okay, happy people. I wanted to pop in really quick and give you all a quick update on what's been going on with me. Unfortunately, my daughter, she actually fell and um, fractured her arm last week. And um, I've been nursing her back to good health. Um, and she's still in some pain, but um, she's doing a lot better these days. But it just seems that in general, life has been coming at my family pretty hard. Uh, my two sisters, they've also had injuries relating to their hands and their arms. And so at this time right now, I need to prioritize my family and work. So I'll be making some changes to my schedule that I'll discuss here shortly. This is what all the nails are looking like so far. That is what the structure of them are looking like. They are still kind of on the flat side, but I think what I'm gonna do in order to build the structure up a little bit more is just go in with a few more layers of the actual builder gel. So instead of trying to build up again, I'm just gonna go in with maybe like one or two more layers of the builder gel, kind of applying it almost like a gel polish just to build up the structure of it. That way I don't make the nails too thick, you know? but I'm also still getting the added structure. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick. Okay, so as I was mentioning earlier in the video, I'll be making some changes to my schedule to try and continue to bring you all amazing content while also still performing all the duties and wearing all the other hats that I'm required to wear outside of YouTube and content creation. So on Tuesdays, I'll be posting my Amazon deals on my community tab. I will also continue to do my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres because I love interacting with my happy family. Y'all know we be having a blast at these premieres, okay? So I'll definitely be keeping that in rotation. Then on Saturdays, I'll have a regular upload. So so yeah, I just want to give you all an update in case you were curious as to why you haven't been seeing me upload as much and or post as often, um, both here on YouTube and on Instagram. It's just, you know, life is happening and I'm needing to really take care of me and my family right now. So I hope you all can understand that and I'll continue to be engaged and interact with you all in the comments for sure. 
Okay, so this is what all the layers of the Builder Joe looks like. I did go in with that last layer and try to build out just a little bit more. I think the structure is good. I don't want my apex to be too high because I struggle with that. So I'm gonna go back in with the D001 and I am just gonna go ahead and encapsulate the nails with the Builder Gel. And then from there, I will file and shape and buff the nails. Alrighty, so this is what everything looks like after it's been built up. So that's what the last layer of the builder gel. And then this is what the thumb looks like. I feel like I'm most impressed with my thumb. I like the shape on it, I like the apex. So first I'm going to spray my nails with alcohol to get rid of that sticky inhibition layer because it is very, very sticky. I don't want to mess up my file. And I'm going to do that twice just to make sure I get all of it off. Okay, so now that the inhibition layer has been wiped off, I am going to go ahead and go in with my dust collector here. And I have my e-file. I think I'm going to start off with my sanding band here. I'm going to put on my little dust protector from my e-file and click it into place. And then I want to go through and kind of hit the cuticle area first and then go through and just shape the nails a little bit. I'm going to speed through most of this because I do have dedicated filing videos. I will leave a link down in the description box. But yeah, let's go ahead and see how we can whip these into shape. I'm using it at 7 RPM and this is my non-dominant hand. I'm gonna go on with Old Faithful, my five in one bit. It always does me right. I feel like the other one was too coarse. Yeah, this one's better. Wow, I was just reflecting while I was doing this set. I realized I accomplished a goal I set for myself exactly one year ago. I told myself that I would give my channel my all for an entire year. And all this year, I've made so many sacrifices. The sleepless nights, the important dates I've missed, not performing my wifely duties, the lack of self-care, and overall just not being present in real life. All in the name of seeing what will come of my efforts here on YouTube. And a year later, I am happy to say that the results speak for themselves. I am proud of this loving and supportive community we have built. I just want to give a shout out to my big happy family for making my goal that I had set for myself a reality. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for always showing up. Thank you for always letting me know that um, what I do uh, matters. I just wanted to show my gratitude and take the time to say thank you to each and every last one of y'all. From the bottom of my heart, I love you all so much. Alrighty, so this is what the nails look like after they have been filed, shaped, and buffed. I am loving how the shaping turned out. I'm loving the structure of the nail. Very happy with everything so far. So now I am going to go ahead and top coat all the nails. You guys, I did have my Beatles top coat that was a backup, but I've had this for over a year. And unfortunately, I don't know what happened to it, but it didn't goop all up. So maybe I had it next to the lamp and it accidentally cured. But that kind of sucks because I really love my Beatles top coat. So I'm not going to be going in with it um, for this particular set, even though I really wanted to. Um, instead, I'm going to go ahead and use my Pretty Diva top coat um, just to top coat the nails. And I'm going to have to be buying a replacement of this fairly soon. Like I said, I think I might have cured it by accident. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and top coat all the nails. Like I mentioned earlier, the Beatles top coat is one of my all-time favorite top coats. It's definitely up there. It's actually, it's probably in the number one spot to be honest with you. I just love how affordable it is and how it keeps all of my nails nice and glossy. I'm going to go ahead and top coat all the nails here. This is what the nails are looking like after top coat has been applied. I am loving this color. Holy smoke, this is a really beautiful nude. So now I am gonna go in with some nail art. I did recently get in some new liner brushes from Joss Love. I'm super excited to try these out to see which colors I want to use on this design. I've picked out the nail liners that I'm gonna use. Um, and again, these are my Joss Love liners. I'm gonna do a really simple abstract nail art design. So with these gel liners, they are really nice, thick, and concentrated. What you wanna do when you're using gel liners is just really rub off all of the products so I kind of just scrape the wand until I see kind of the clear uh, stem of it or the, the, the clear handle and then I'll take most of the product off of the brush and then just leave just a little bit on the tip and then that gives me enough to work with and so 
I'm just going to kind of freestyle this design. Um, I think I want to just go in with like a line like this towards the center or towards the tip of the nail. Okay, just a little bit more. I think I might want to connect it like this here and then connect it like this over here. Hey okay, y'all, I think that's the design I'm going to go with. I think that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and flash through that for 10 seconds. Alrighty, so this is what it looks like after it's been cured. Next, I'm gonna go in. I did go ahead and do my thumbnail off camera. This is the design I'm gonna be going for you guys. So with this nail art design, it's quite simple. It's really just three lines that are going two to the left and one to the right. It's something that I literally just thought of off the top of my head. So um, yeah, I wanted to keep this design really nice and simple. So this is what it looks like after it's been cured for 60 seconds. Yeah, I'm really enjoying working with these Joss Love gel liners. I'm had for, I've had them for a couple of weeks now and they're really nice. I do actually have a discount code for the gel liners in case you guys are interested. It's Rose Nails. I will leave it linked here on the screen as well as in the de description box below, but these are some really nice quality liners. I do plan to do a dedicated review of these liners on my channel, but just wanted to give you all a quick heads up. These are really nice. Now I'm going to go in. I really like how this matte effect is looking. It's just making this whole set hit a little different. And so I do have my Beatles matte top coat. This is one of my favorite matte top coats as well. So I'm gonna go in and apply the matte top coat to all of the nails. And then I am gonna use the bling that came in the Builder Gel kit. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit of the bling to um, on the nail like this, where all of the lines meet on both of the designs. I'm gonna cure for 60 seconds. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw a little bit of cuticle oil on these crusty cuticles, and we gonna, we gonna get into this finished look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am absolutely loving how this set turned out. Do y'all see the fabulousness that's happening in front of y'all right now? Yes, y'all. These matte nails, they hit different every time. I am absolutely here for this set. I'm loving the color of this nude builder gel and I'm absolutely loving the simple nail art with a little bit of bling tivity y'all already know how I do so yes let me know what y'all think about this beautiful end of the summer many y'all summer is coming to an end sadly enough y'all think these turned out really good how did I do on my shaping with the builder gel from the bottle y'all let me know down in the comments and in the chat because I'm feeling the shape I'm feeling the length I'm feeling the style I'm feeling the design Yes, baby, I am feeling it all. So my final thoughts on the Beatles Builder Gel Kit. I mean, Beatles, they do it right every single time. So I'm absolutely loving these Builder Gels. They were super easy to work with. It almost was just like applying regular gel polish. And even with building it up, it was very simple and very easy to do with just like floating the product back and forth. I would highly recommend this kit, especially with all of the extra accessories and goodies that it came with. It came with the glitters, it came with, um, you know, the bling, it came with a file, tweezers, nail art brushes, and six builder gel colors that were all absolutely stunning. So yes, I will highly recommend this. Y'all know Beatles is bae for me. I'm not sure if I have a discount code or not. If I do, I will leave it here on the screen as well as down in the description box below. Beatles products are available on Amazon. That's where I've purchased most of my Beatles products from in the past. And so I will leave uh, the Amazon link as well as the link from their store down in the description box in case you guys want to check it out. Beatles has never let me down. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this kit. So a special thanks to Beatles for sending their product over for review. You. Again, you all already know, you've seen it multiple times on my channel. I am a huge fan of Beatles products. I'm super excited to work with them again in the near future. Yeah, y'all, let me know what you think of the Summer Manny. I'm absolutely loving it. And so yeah, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around and join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, 
Leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!